Sup, Penanguses? This is DF Class 97, and today we're actually going to show you some things that are, uh, well, pretty interesting, I suppose. Um, if you have realized, I did upload a trailer to a Mugen Online or Eichmann Online. Awesome, isn't it? Something that was deemed impossible or quite rare. A Mugen Online experience that's actually worth it. Without lag, without risking of hacking, without problems, without crashing, and well, it's here. Um, I'm basically making my own Mugen. Um, well, I, just to let you guys know, and I've already put it in the uh, description in the trailer, which I will put an annotation right here or in the uh, description in case you want to see it and download the game yourself. Um, I did not make any of these characters or stages. However, this is not a copy-paste Mugen. This isn't a lackluster Mugen either. I am editing these characters as much as I can so I can make a balanced and competitive Mugen and not the broken piece of crap you see at Salty Pets. But yeah, I'm trying to make a, um, a competitive Mugen that's balanced. I'm also making DLCs for the future, and patches, and, and a lot of cool stuff. I've even made my own uh, forums for ranking systems and such. So this game is a big thing and a lot of things are in work in progress. But, it's possible for you and your friends to play Mugen online and play it on anyone across the globe. And be fun, too. However, of course, there's those questions that are hard to answer at one shot or, or another. Like, how do I get Mugen online working? How do I set up controls? How do I do... How do I play this and do that and the other? Well, today we're going to show you in a few brief tutorials and hopefully these will help you understand and also help you with questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know in the comments or a personal message or on the forums, any way you went, any way you want. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a great time and I'll see you in the lobbies, I hope. Peace out and enjoy. Okay. So in today's video, we're going to teach you some basic steps on how to play Mugen and Eichen, or Eichmann online. Just some simple stuff, you know, some things basic you need to know. Chapter 1 is how to connect with someone online. This is the main reason and the main thing you guys should know. There are two ways to do this. You can host a game or join a game. To start off, we're going to do the easiest one, hosting a game. It's pretty simple. What you do is you go to online battle. And once you go there, there should be a box that, that, that's there. And you just write nothing. Yes, absolutely nothing. You just press OK and just wait for someone. Make sure that area is blank. Now, to join a game, it's a little bit more steps to it. Uh, first, we're going to teach you the way how to do it with Hamachi. Now, with Hamachi, what you do is you go to a person's name, and you right-click, and you go to Copy IPv4 Address. Once you copy that, you go to your Mugen, and then go to Online Battle. And, this, and the same box will appear, will appear Sorry, the same thing as you do when you're hosting except this time you paste that number over there and you press OK now you're looking for your host basically now to do it with Evolve which I recommend much better is to basically go to the opponent's name or whoever you want to play against you go to their name and you right click and you go to copy IP address the same way you do it with Hamachi Speaking of the same way, then you go to Online Battles, and the same with Hamachi, you go to Online Battle, then the box will appear, and you just hit Paste, and OK, and then you should be looking for your host. Now, Chapter 2, How to Change Controls. These are for some people that aren't really comfortable with the, the default controls we have. So what you do is, you go to your Mugen folder, then you look for a folder named SSZ. And look for a file named config and make sure you open it with notepad and you should get all this mumbo jumbo text but what you really want to pay attention to is the little area below which says in dot new and then that zero set all that represents are your buttons like okay you got your light punch medium punch and heavy punch which is zxc and your light kick medium and heavy kick which is asd in their order now to change this however let's say you want to change z to q you go to z and you basically replace it with a q and for the rest of the buttons you replace it to whatever your heart desires even the kick buttons if you want and then once you're done with that you just go to file and hit save and it should work 
Now, Chapter 3 is a little something, you know, a little something nice, you know, it's, it's not a necessity, but it's something cool after a while. And that is to save or view your replays. Now, this is pretty simple. We're going to tell you how to save a replay. Now, what you do is, well, you open up your Mugen, and then there should be a folder that says Replay. Now, every time you play or do play an online match, it will always have the name, net, name Netplay. You want to save that, because what if it was a good match, right? And you replace it by accident because it renames itself to Netplay. You don't want to do that. So what you do is, what I like to do, is I like to create a folder. Let's call this some dope-ass replays. Dull. <laughs> well, you don't, you, you don't really have to name it like that. Then, <laughs> then you copy your Netplay or your replay. You go to that folder and you hit paste. Now what you want to do is you want to rename it to something. I like to rename it to the opponents I fought against or whatnot. And when you want to watch that replay, just copy it and paste it back to where, where you found it and just rename it to Netplay. And to view your replays, it's simple. Just go to Replay Match and there you go. And you just hold the buttons if you want to fast forward, if you, you know, if you want to get to your favorite part. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the servers. Peace out.